Hola a todos, soy Mike. Bienvenidos a la guía definitiva para aprender a conjugar el verbo disgustar en español. Hi everybody, this is Mike. Welcome to the ultimate guide to learning how to conjugate the verb disgustar en español, in Spanish. So we are going to study the verb disgustar. The verb disgustar, when we use the verb disgustar in Spanish with the indirect object pronoun. Because we can use the verb disgustar in the subject verb object structure. If we do so, then, of course, we're going to, to conjugate the verb just like any other verb. Meaning that for each one of the pronouns, there will be uh, a different conjugation form. Yo disgusto, tú disgustas, él disgusta, ella disgusta, nosotros disgustamos, usted disgusta, tú disgustas, and so and so on. But in this series of videos, we're studying these verbs when we uh, use the verbs with the indirect of the pronoun instead of the personal pronoun. And this makes the, the, the conjugation of the verb work different. Because if we use the indirect of the pronoun, the conjugation for the verb is going to be the same for each one of the tenses for all of the pronouns. It's going to change only depending on the tense. But it's going to be the same in that tense for all of the pronouns. It doesn't change. So, the verb disgustar, we're going to study the verb disgustar when it, it's translated as to dislike or not to like something. So, I can say, I dislike the noise of that city at night. And it would be translated as, me disgusta el ruido de la ciudad por la noche. As you can see, we use me or a mi me, which would be the indirect of the pronoun, right? And this verb, the disgustar, is to dislike when we mean not to like. I don't like the noise of that of the city at night. Or when we say, I hate the noise of the city at night. Or I can stand the noise of the city at night. Of course, these two are, there. there's nuances here. Because this one, this one could be also translated as odio, el ruido. Right? But when I mean disgustar, I mean that. Right? And here I would say in Spanish, no me aguanto. But this is just for you to, to, to have an idea of what, what we mean with disgustar. It's, it's pretty much dislike with this, with this idea. The idea of don't like something, not to like something, or to hate something, or uh, that when you can't stand something, right? Me disgusta. And at this point, we use the verb with the indirect of the pronoun. And these are the indirect object pronouns. At this point, if you have watched all of the videos in this series, you most likely know the indirect object pronouns by now. Because it's a matter of practicing. If you don't, don't worry. It'll come. And here we have the list of the indirect object pronouns depending on the personal pronoun. For I would be me. For you, in the singular informal close relationship form, which is tú, would be te. For he, she, it, and you in the singular formal, which is usted, it would be le. For we, nos, and for you, plural, which is ustedes, and they, it would be les. Those are the indirect object pronouns that we are going to place before the verb instead of the personal pronoun. You know, that's, that's pretty much the idea of this. And there's... An additional form, which is the, in, 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 the, in, this, in this part, we have these two words. These two words are usually placed before the indirect object pronoun. So we can use the just the indirect object pronoun or these two words before the indirect object pronoun. So for me would be a mi me. For te would be a ti te. For le would be a usted le. A él le. A ella le. A nosotros nosotras nos. A usted les or a ellos a ellas les. And this is most likely when we want to, to show emphasis. When we, when we need to, to give emphasis to an action, we do that. Not necessarily, but most likely. So you can use, use both. You can use either the full form with the three words, a mi me, a ti te, or just the indirect object pronoun, me. And you will be, with that, you'll be more than okay and remember when we do this we have conjugations for all of the tenses 
which are the same for each one of the pronouns. And that conjugation depends only if the object is singular or plural. So for singular, we have this. In the simple present tense, disgusta. So I would say me disgusta, one thing. In the simple past would be disgusto or disgustaba. In the simple future, disgustará. In the present perfect, uh, a disgustado, and such and such. I have here all of the conjugations. If you want, just if you want, you can just screen capture this right now for further uh, reference. But don't worry, because during the next examples, I'm going to show you this table. And of course, we also have the plural form. This would be the plural form. And once again, this is when the object of disgustar is plural. Me disgustan and some things, right? I dislike things. Me disgustan cosas. Again, for each one of the tenses, and it's it's not going to change uh, for the, the, the indirect of your pronouns. So if you want to screen capture this, it's up to you, but don't worry because now we're going to go and check this with some examples, which basically is this that we have here in which, let me change this to singular. Oh, okay. So I have the conjugation form for singular, meaning one thing, one object. And I have on the right, a mí me a ti te, just for, for as a guide. Remember, you can either use a mí me or just me. A mí me gusta, the, a mí me disgusta, I mean, simple present, or me disgusta. So, <clears throat> let's check this sentence. I don't like the noise of the city at night. One thing, right? The noise of the city at night. So I go with, a mí me disgusta el ruido de la ciudad por la noche. Because it's I. I can also say me disgusta, and that would be fairly perfect. It's, it's perfectly okay if I say me disgusta. Or I can say the full word, a mí me disgusta. So if I say you instead of a mí, but this you meaning two, two singular informal close relationships, it would be a ti, a ti te gusta. A ti te disgusta, I mean, I'm sorry. A ti te disgusta. Because you see, this is not going to change. We just changed the, the, the subject here. So we use, we change the indirect of the pronoun for you. For, he, for you as usted, a usted le disgusta. Or for you as ustedes, a ustedes les disgusta. Sorry. A ustedes, a ustedes les disgusta. You as ustedes, plural. How about he? He doesn't. He doesn't like. A él. Le, or just le. We can say le disgusta. A él le disgusta. You can use without this two, remember. How about she? A ella. A ella. A ella. A ella le disgusta. She doesn't like. How about we don't? We don't. We, a nosotros. A nosotros nos, o a nosotras, and they, a ellos o ellas. Ellos o ellas. A ellos, a ellos les. A ellas les. And that's, that's the, as you can see, it's fairly easy. That's the way you conjugate for all of the different pronouns with the different uh, indirect object pronoun and just one single conjugation form for all of the, the for the whole tense simple present tense how about the simple past they didn't they didn't like i just les disgustaba i just les disgustaba or i just les disgustó simple present tense and once again for all of the pronouns this would be the same verb so if i say uh, I didn't like, I didn't like, a mí me disgustó. That would be exactly the same. A mí me disgustó. 
if it's future i uh, i didn't i i won't i won't i won't like a mí me disgustará i just change the conjugation this remains the same just change the conjugation depending on this form that we have here you see the top in this case let me see if i can move this here uh present perfect simple future we're using for simple future we're using simple future here that's it simple future and we can work all of the tenses all of the tenses and it's going to be the same it's the same and this is for singular objects now instead of singular we can go with plural and we have an example here i don't like rude people rude people is several things so i say a mí me disgustan me disgustan plural me disgustan or me disgustan or a mí me disgustan and it's exactly the same as we did before if i say I didn't, I didn't like, a mí me disgustaban, or, or we didn't like, a nosotros, nos, nos disgustaban, las personas groseras, we didn't like rude people, exactly the same. The only thing is that because the, the object is plural, we use the conjugation for plural that we have here. In, the, in all of the tenses, we can do that. I, say, I can say, we, we uh, wouldn't, we wouldn't like rude people. A nosotros nos disgustaría. A nosotros nos disgustarían las personas groseras. We wouldn't like rude people. If it's, if it's single object, nos disgustaría. If it's plural, nos disgustarían. Another nos disgustarían. And we're using the conjugation table. Just as simple as that. If I didn't like... Sorry. Whoops, I moved to the wrong place. Let me check. Okay, sorry. If I... If I didn't, if I didn't like, which would be um, subjunctive, if would be if, would be si, I, si, a mi, me, disgustara, si a mi me disgustaran, if I didn't like rude people, yeah, si a mi me disgustaran, or me disgustasen las personas groseras, so as you can see, as you can see, it's a matter of understanding that we use this kind of verbs with the indirect of the pronoun. When we do that, we place the indirect of the pronoun before the verb conjugation. We can either use just the, single, the, the indirect of the pronoun or an additional two words that come with the indirect of the pronoun in order to uh, give emphasis not necessarily but most likely because sometimes we just say that not necessarily because we just want to make a fancy we say a mí me gusta and that's it so you need to understand that we do that the spanish is a little bit complex but you can get a hold on that by practicing and and being exposed to that a lot and this is part of of, of it so we use the singular uh, the um, indirect object pronoun and there's just one single conjugation form for all of the indirect of your pronouns for each one of the tenses, which is just the table that I've shown you. And also, depending on if the object is singular or plural, that's it. So it's a matter of practice. So what is what you have to do right now? First, read a lot. Read a lot and try to find this, these forms and understand the forms. That's the best way. Because you have control over the text. So go find 
nice, interesting texts. Go ask go uh, ChatGPT to generate texts with these kind of, of, of um, structures and read and identify. Then go ahead and listen to podcasts, music, news, uh, TV shows, movies, series in Spanish, and try and do the same, identify. Oh, they're saying this. Oh, they're using this form, a mí me o a usted le, and the different conjugations. And of course, you need also to step up a little bit and speak. And you have the tools here for starting doing it so. Okay, so that was it. Um, I hope this is not going to be confusing. It's pretty much easy. Um, I hope you're going to study and practice a lot. This is a, a matter of practicing. Practice makes perfect. So make sure you're going to check the whole video to uh, do your own exercises, to build your sentences, to start using this verb um, as, as soon as you can. And the more that you, can, that, that you use it, the more that you're going to understand uh, its use and how to conjugate the verb in the different forms. So um, if you have questions, check the video as many times as you need. And if you still have questions, uh, leave a comment. I'll try to reply as soon as possible. If you like this video, remember, you know what to do. Please share with your friends, group, social media. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell button in order to get notifications because we're posting videos on a weekly basis. And that's going to help us uh, also to grow as a channel. So I really appreciate you for watching the whole video um, and looking forward to uh, bringing more videos like this. So I'll see you later. Study much, estudien mucho, aprendan mucho, sigan practicando y nos vemos en un próximo video. Bye.